Hey Legionnaires and welcome back to Dawnless Days Total War and as you can see there's been a bit of an update and I have got some early access to this update here and we have some very very new looking units here on the battlefield. Wargs have been added to Middle Earth to the glorious Dawnless Days mod for a total total war and yes we have a whole host of them here. We have Warg Riders of Isengard here slowly prowling towards the battlefield and they are facing off against the, the Rohirrim here and uh, yeah this I guess is supposed to replicate sort of that uh, ambush that you see in the two towers between the uh, the wargs and uh, the rise of Rohan you yeah, have like the fellowship also getting stuck in as well with, like Legolas, Arag Aragorn and uh, Gimli also getting stuck in and Aragorn falling off the cliff and uh, going missing just before the Battle of Helm's Deep so yeah this is kind of like that battle here so and it's kind of the sort of the same train you know a rocky sort of uh, like hilly area and yeah, we have a whole host of wargs here we have uh, 5,600 uh, forces of Isengard there are some infantry in here we've got goblin men ruffians as well and some uh, some axes and Dunland tribesmen some spears some like Mordor Raoul to sort of support these wargs so it'll be interesting to see how they do um, there is a lot of Rohirrim here there is uh, about 3,900 they also have some infantry as well but there are a lot of cavalry here as well we've got Esquires of Rohan um, so yeah there's a lot of sort of rising quality of cav uh, but yeah really for the forces of evil it is just wargs so yeah uh, in the new update um, there is a whole bunch of new things that are going to be added one of them is wargs uh, I have another video that I'm going to be showing off in the next couple of days with a couple of new additions but yeah wargs are available to um, Isengard and also to Mordor I uh, thought they might get added to Dogledore but they haven't been uh, at least I don't, they don't seem like they have been just yet. But yeah, they, uh, I feel like most evil factions are going to have these. There you go, the first clash underway. And they have like, sort of like, I don't know if you really heard that. They have like, sort of like, hound sounding sort of like anime. Like they have the, the voices of sort of like hounds as they go in. They kind of like squeal as they go in. They do look awesome. I imagine they, they must have pretty decent melee attack, I'd imagine. Because it's a literal wolf. I don't know if you can hear it. I kind of like felt like I went silent so you guys could hear them. Uh, how it be. Also, there's just like loads of men shouting over each other. But yeah, I would have thought these guys have decent like uh, stats because, um, well, they have got really high melee attack and stuff like that. At the end of the battle, we will have a quick look at some of the uh, the stats for these guys. Because um, you can't really you can't view them during a replay um, but yeah it does seem as though they do get beaten in a charge even by like the cheapest of, uh, of uh, Rohe Rohan's cavalry we also have got uh, Yeoman of the Mark of it going to shoot from the top of some cliffs but yeah already a few of these wargs of Isengard are starting to die here and um, we also have like a mounted unit now like they classify um, sort of like the mass of unit a little bit uh, differently to how they did before um, which I'm, I'm not opposed to. It's kind of a, not a bad idea. Yeah, it does look like uh, also the wargs have kind of been 3v1 here. I feel like uh, since they are, uh, well, light wargs, I don't know if we're going to get such a thing as a heavy warg. Um, just that it's just a warg. It's not been on a di it's not been on a diet. But yeah, the light the wargs, I guess, they're more for taking out lives. archers and light infantry uh, and maybe dealing with light cav. Uh, it looks, looks like they have messed up some of these uh, esquires of Rohan here. But yeah, they're really suffering against the, the more heavily armored. Um, Rise of Rohan and also the spears is getting involved. It's also not helping the situation. But yeah, we've got more wargs arriving to continue this ambush. And in they go. Yeah, thank you very much to the devs for sending me this early access. As always, it's a great pleasure to show off uh, the mod and all their hard, hard work. They have put so much time the and effort into all this. And uh, yeah, it does look like uh, it's starting to really pay off. The mod is slowly shaping into an amazing piece of work. Got some Dunleading horse riders that are broken over here. I wonder if we're going to see another big clash of wargs in this slightly more open plain. It looks like we've got early knights here and it looks like a lot more maybe, well, I was going to say a lot more elites and then there's scouts of Rohan here as well. They're not, not too elite. They'll be, I would have thought, decent pickings for the cav. Got Wargs of Isengard, also looks like some, some infantry here, Urukai Raiders. I know also a few new heroes have been added, which is uh, one of the things I was going to show off in the uh, in the next video, is a couple of the new heroes have been added. Yeah, this new update hopefully is coming out very, very soon. I know that a few other things have been uh, teased as well. 
Uh, I was, I've seen like Terminator's been uh, co covering a few of the uh, campaign uh, updates and stuff like that and like uh, playing it a little bit so you can tell that you know we're getting close towards that fabled campaign that everyone is want wanting and so am I just desperately wanting it but yeah if you want to see more Dawn of Day stuff on the channel and more sort of like update information I'm going to be doing a couple of videos uh, on so like the uh, the new units and so what the uh, new update has to come and bring to us then uh, do feel free to leave a like subscribe if you're around here and a comment show support guys it really does help out the channel if we work towards 11k but yeah the walks here I mean it seems like they could deal with like a weakened cab units quite easy these are weakened ones themselves like on a charge it seems like they're decent but yeah once they're in prolonged prolong melee not so great um and I, yeah, I haven't I haven't really looked at the stats for them, but I'd imagine they must be pretty decent because it's a literal like wolf and then a man on to, well, an orc on top. I'd imagine they'd be pretty decent. Whether we're going to get such things as a heavy uh, walk, maybe like a medium walk, would be interesting to know. Um, and they are technically just light cav or light walks. So uh, I don't know if we'll get such thing as a, a, as another one. It's not really ex exactly a good example of them really later on. Oh, like in, at any other point in sort of like the history of the Lord of Rings, they would be like heavily armored. You just kind of like see them just being like some riders on walks. Whether you could like count the, the Hobbit ones maybe a bit heavier with the um, like in the Hobbit, the uh, I feel like they're a bit they look a bit bigger, a bit more scary than the ones in uh, in the ones in Lord of the Rings. But it looks like the Cav here is going to get in behind Eren of the uh, King's Marks. This is a very elite Cav, so yeah, they, they're about to get in behind. There's a walk unit here they could charge down and uh, do some damage to them. We'll see whether they go in in a moment. Lurtz is actually looking very, uh, very, very open and he's going to get charged. His Urukai Rangers. I feel like that's a new name. I don't feel like they were Urukai Rangers before. They're getting stomped on. There you go, Lurtz. I think it's going to be uh, lost by They are going to send in some more wards. We'll see how they do now that the uh, area of the King's Mark didn't get a charge off on them. More, yeah, more walks going in, going to try and surround the escorts of Rohan. Whether they'll try and pull Lurtz out in a moment with these Goblin Men Ruffians going in. I don't think they're new, by the way, the Goblin Men Ruffians. I think they've been uh, in since the last update. You just barely ever see them. Which is uh, something I was thinking about. I was like, oh, they seem new. And then I was like, no, I'm pretty sure we just never see them because it's such a low tier. A low tier unit for Isengard. No one brings them. Um, but yeah, it looks like they're kind of holding, actually. It looks like the uh, Spear Cav. Uh, being in here is actually in prolonged melee is not doing any good uh, benefits and it is actually starting to lose and the same over on this side here where the war more wargs have been added these look a lot fresher they're actually slowly killing, killing off the household knights here again in prolonged melee which you kind of respect the Rohan player for just leaving the row here and in you could cycle them out but like the idea is that yeah they just like carry on fighting like they did in the movies like in that ambush Broken and running for their lives. Looks like we're going to see the walks pull back on that far side over there. They don't want to take on that mass of cavalry. Where well, they're going to shift, shift more over here. We will see. More cav going in. Rohan, Rohan skirmishes. Another unit we don't really see very often. They've got their axes out now. They've finished with their javelins and they're going to get out their axes and they're going to start hacking away. And it looks like a few of these goblin men ruffians starting to break. Seeing also alerts his, you know, managed to get himself free. He's now trying to shoot at some of these uh, Rohirrim, trying to get rid of them. The Warg's still holding on. You see the main focus of today's battle. Starting to die slowly. And you can see they have won a few of these fights over here. I mean, this is just infantry thing fighting calves. So it's not actually anything to do with the wargs there. But look at the wargs are going to kill slowly off a couple of these units here. Look at this. They managed to kill off a couple of these uh, Erid of the West, uh, Erid of the Westfold, and also the Erid of the Eastfold. So they managed to get a couple of these units here. And also looks like they got the yeah, they got quite a few units. Is that also King's Mark, I think, down here maybe, or an Esquire of Rohan. 
Yeah, I think it's out of the King's Mark, out of the Eastfold, and then a uh, S S Esquire. So actually, got some reasonable units they've killed off there. So in prolonged melee, might be able to do something. It's hard to say, really, obviously, because the Rohan player is not really trying to full like competitive capability. I feel like, I feel like on a charge, the Walks do not do well. Yeah, immediately they start to lose, even to Arid of the West. I mean, the, the numbers is obviously greatly not in their favor. Also, they're just a, a light cav going up against a heavy cav. They're never going to win that sort of one-on-one. Uh, -on -one. They've actually managed to kill off a lot of these uh, horse archers here, though. I'm not quite sure exactly what they get bonuses on. I'd imagine cavalry, they must get some sort of bonus. I hope so. Because I feel like they should, have like a, uh, they should make cavs be scared. I feel like the walk should have, like, like camels do for Rome 2 and Attila. Um... Like they scare Cav, I feel like they should walk should have the that same ability. I don't know if they do, but it's something that um, they haven't added uh, to the devs. Like the devs would maybe consider adding. I feel like that would be kind of cool to see. Maybe they just uh, Cav routes a little bit quicker um, than it usually would because they're fighting a massive hound that they've never seen. Like the, the horses wouldn't be necessarily used to that. I think that would be a cool idea to add. Um, obviously, you could have yeah like. Melee defense being a little bit lower, but melee attack being pretty decent. Uh, yeah, the dogs wouldn't, like the, 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 well, the wargs wouldn't be able to, to really defend themselves very easily. They're, they're more like an, an aggressive, offensive uh, beast. I imagine that is the case anyway, so the melee defense will be substantially lower. But yeah, it's really, really fun to uh, check these wargs out. I'm really enjoying them. And the, the models are great. I mean, we're, we're like, We've not really like talked about the models, but the models, you know, they look pretty good. They like they don't look like the ones from the movies, but they look like similar to the ones from the movies. Like, you, you could you would look you're looking at these guys, you go, oh yeah, they look like a war. They look a bit skinnier, uh, which is a little bit on a diet, but they look really cool. I mean, I mean the effort you have to go to like obviously make this model because obviously there's nothing like this in vanilla Attila. Um, but yeah, they look great. They do look yeah more similar to the ones from Lord of the Rings than they do obviously from the Hobbit, because uh, it's kind of like the area they're trying to aim for. The field of this is a shameful display. They, do look, they do look good. I think the like, hats off to the dev team and all the uh, artists that have put a lot of time into uh, making these walks. And yeah, and making them work, like they, the animations as well, they, they seem to work pretty well. That's the thing, like they, the, the dogs, I don't know why I'm calling them the dogs, the walks are like, uh, like do their like attacks and it looks like they do damage they are doing damage it's not just uh, just flailing around for nothing here we've got mortal rabble now blocking off the path here um but it looks like it we're just gonna see mustard spears maybe go i mean the rise of rohan i think could just run these rabble down if they wanted to found their um, but yeah numbers wise it's fight. not looking good it's 2000 against just about 2000 as well but uh rohan's has just better quality left uh, there's a lot of goblin men ruffians and also, like we were saying, uh, the wargs, uh, they are pretty effective. They're just still not quite as effective as the cavalry. And I think that's good. I feel like I imagine they're cheap and going to be a pain. And it's another ability. It's a, it's a mobility uh, for the Isengard player and also for Mordor. And other, uh, it's another mobility for them. But yeah, for Isengard, like, they need a little bit of cabs and they can just harass with. Uh, or stop cavalry with before they get their own infantry in. So they're quite useful in that sense. The but yeah, they shouldn't be beating cavalry in. like of Rohan. Rohan's cab should or is obviously some of the finest in Middle Earth. Shouldn't uh, be being beaten by the wargs. Could be maybe getting badly mauled up like the lesser units. But yeah, like your household knights and your knights of the King's Mark are uh, still going to absolutely uh, rip through these guys you'd imagine. Uh, it looks like we've got scouts of Rohan here. A lot of lighter units here. So this will be interesting to see how these guys face off against each other. These are like the Forest spear cab available. I think they are spear cab, aren't they? Yeah. So yeah, these uh, the scouts of Rohan might super quite highly. You can see they're dropping. Yeah, they're losing. So yeah, so the walks against a lesser cab, they've got a good chance. Uh, but yeah, you just get mid to high tier Rohan cab, they're just going to struggle. Um, like the scouts of Rohan, yeah, they're losing that one. But they won't take on Riot to Rohan. They won't win that. And that's not really a top tier cab unit. You don't even see them being bought very often. But they are a heavy cab unit. Uh, and the enemy general's dead. Lurtz is gone. There is another general in here that's still to go. Oh, we've got Ugluk. Ugluk is here. 
He is uh, an ugly retinue. It's a whole new unit. There you go. I totally missed that. I didn't think he was going to be in battle, but he is. And I think that's him there. That is ugly there on the front line. You kind of see him in the two towers. He's the guy that gives um, Leah gives uh, Mary and Pippin that horrible like drink. Uh, he's basically in charge of their like. Uh, in charge of bringing Merry and Pippin back to Isengard. He's, uh, that is who Ugluck is, I believe. Um, I could be wrong there. Someone might be like, no, Ugluck is actually someone else entirely. But I'm pretty sure that's who it is. But uh, yeah, we've got Bowman here just coming to out. Goblin and Bows, are they new? I feel like they might be new. They might be new, Goblin and Bows. Again, they also just might never get brought and I just, I've never seen them. Um, which is also quite possible. There's, just a, there's definitely a few units I'm always like, look at. I always go, have you ever been brought? Or are you new? Because there are definitely like some low T units that just never get low. Yeah, the walks over here, they're going to kill off a couple of the more Rohirrim units here. That's a win. Yeah, the main focus on the walks today, these guys have done, they've done okay. They've killed off a fair few men. And you know, there's obviously just a scouting pie in, uh, in Lord of the Rings Lords before they uh, bring up the main army to uh, attack Helm's Deep. These guys are trying to slow down Rohan and weaken them. They have less fighters to man the walls. And uh, yeah, they are standing around now. I wonder where the army losses are coming in a little bit. Um, I, mean, I don't know. I don't know if they have earned those Chevrons or they just started with those, but they, they seem like they've done some decent damage. I mean, like even in the end, they couldn't quite kill that early night. They did do a good amount of damage to it. So yeah, it shows that even though wargs, you're probably going to end up beating them. Uh, they are going to inflict a lot of damage to you. Ugluck's retinue is a very heavy melee infantry. I'm surprised. I thought it might be lighter because he's uh, they're like a like they're kind of like the raiders. I thought it might be a raider, uh, a raider sort of like unit, but it's not. Maybe it's a speedy. It might be a very quick heavy infantry. It's kind of like obviously they're famously known like Aragorn is like chasing Ugluck, and he's he's like ch they're chasing him across Rohan. Uh, it's how they obviously find, uh, like, meet the Rohirrim because of Ugluck. And they're trying to find uh, Merry and Pippin. And it looks like, yeah, we're finally going to see the death of the Wargs here. Yeah, these guys are routing. There you go, nice rear charge there. It's around these last few hounds. Send them back to Isengard, back to their master, Saruman. There you go. I'd be interested to see if we could have, like, Saruman in it and whether we could give him, like, some abilities to replicate his magic the or something like that. That would be interesting. Favor. I don't know how people would like that because it would be a bit like Warhammer. A little bit with, like, having spells and stuff. But I think it could be kind of fun to have. But there you go. A Pyrrhic victory for Rohan. We'll end the replay and have a quick look at some of these end results. See how good the wargs are. But, uh, yeah, this was uh, a battle done by some of the testers. So, uh, yeah, thank you very much. Uh, to them for or doing this battle and uh, for then the devs to send it my way. But yes, this is from Aragorn Alessa's uh, point of view as uh, Rohan. He had dead and I wouldn't have known that he was here because he didn't see any action really. It seems he's got 85 kills. Some of the Thanes here, 237. The Mustard Spears, 160 uh, kills for, between them. And then you've got like 171 kills, uh, 271 kills here with the early men at arms. The spears obviously did a lot of work because they killed off a lot of these light wargs. Um, and they've got 352 kills with the yeoman of the mark. Uh, and then we've got some other cab over here, 105 kills with the esquires. Uh, the Erid of the Westfold, 185 kills, 176 with the Erid of the King's mark. 103 kills with the Rise of Rohan. Uh, Erling Knights down here with 130. 538 with the Erid of the Gap. 250 with another one here. And the Skirmish is getting 150, uh, 134 kills. Then we have Chicken Wolf playing as the first Isengard army led by Lurtz. Uh, he got 150 kills actually, even though he got charged pretty badly. Uh, a Half Orc Spear here getting 255 kills. The Wargs then, let's have a look. 112 one got, which is not too bad. But yeah, most getting sort of like. 30, 40 kills. I mean, that is against Cav, I imagine, most of those kills. If they are fighting uh, archers or infantry, I feel like they can do a lot more damage. Like, I feel like that is going to be their sort of purpose, is go after the light infantry archers. Maybe do some rear charges, and then if they have to, slow down cavalry. But they're not going to win a Cav fight if they slow down Cav, I don't think, in most cases. Then you have uh, Junatan playing as the second Isengard army, uh, with Ugluck getting 128 kills, and he would have got more if he hadn't broken through army losses, so obviously Ugluck, a very solid uh, general there, 165 kills with the Raiders, 
Then we have uh, 94 kills with his wargs here, 100 kills with another one, 175, 105. So this did a little bit better, maybe fought more infantry. Um, but yeah, they uh, certainly do seem like they're going to be a bit of a pest, but they're obviously not going to be, I don't think, battle-defining. But it's very, very big that we have a very cool, unique model like the wargs. Something very integral to Lord of the Rings being added to the mod. So yeah, we'll have a quick look at uh, Isengard. They have uh, the wargs as an available uh, unit, so... Um, I mean, we have, uh, I, I think, yeah, they must have, like, added, no, more Ravel, obviously, is always new, but I think, like, Goblin Men, Ruffians, uh, they've been there a little while, but I feel like Goblin, uh, Goblin Men bows are very much new, and then you have Oak Look there if you want to get him, and then the Wargs are down here, and, uh, yeah, they're pretty, uh, melee attack 35, melee defense 25, as expected, uh, their morale is okay, and they are pretty speedy, 85, so, you know, you can zip around the map, and, uh, but yeah, they didn't really have anything to... Uh, I don't feel like they, they have a war gra raw, so they do have, like, a, yeah, a minus 10 morale, so that is very good, very handy. So, the, uh, obviously, before the devs even, like, uh, even before I realized, the devs have taken on my uh, my idea, and they're trying to make them, like, a scare sort of a unit more than, like, a, a killing unit. You don't not going to kill units necessarily with it, you're going to just scare units. So you're going after lesser units, or if you're in a very close, evenly matched fight, you're going to get the advantage from using your ability there. But there you go, guys. That is um, the Isengard Wargs. And also, uh, like I said, they are available for Mordor as well. I don't know if Mordor's are any different, but Mordor's does have a Wargs. They are just, yeah, Warg Riders medium. They're medium Wargs, actually. Okay, so they are slightly heavier than Isengard, so, which are just Wargs of Isengard. So that is interesting to know. Something to uh, keep in mind. I am surprised Dogledor doesn't have them. Um, Dougal doesn't have anything else added either as well in the new update. But I would like to see wargs, I think, get added to Dougal Door. Maybe a heavier warg for Dougal Door. Uh, to sort of, like, recognition for, like, the ones in the Hobbit. I feel like that'd be kind of cool. Um, but, yeah, there you go, guys. I hope you did enjoy. I'll be having a new video out soon on the next update. Uh, like, the next sort of, like, replay I have uh, for this new update uh, coming out in the next couple of days. So, yeah, definitely stay tuned for that. Hit that notification bell so you know when that arrives. But, yes, until next time, guys, I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.